Dear students, welcome to Ishikhna program. In today's class, I will be discussing on predictor and corrector methods, which are nothing but multi-step methods. In particular, I will be considering two methods prescribed in your syllabus: Milne's predictor corrector method and Adam Bashmore predictor corrector method. So in these methods, multi-step methods, unlike the previous methods, which depends only on the previous value, these methods depend on sequence of previous values to compute the next value. So these methods are prescribed in the syllabus to solve first order ordinary differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y with given initial condition y is y naught at x is equal to x naught. Suppose the solution of this equation is known at four successive points x naught, <coughs> x1 that is x naught plus h, x2 that is x1 plus h, x3 that is x2 plus h where h is the step then. Let y naught y at x is equal to x naught y1, y at x is equal to x1, y2, y at x is equal to x2, and y3, y at x is equal to x3, be the known solutions. Known, that is the, it depends on the previous values, that's what it says. Suppose we wish to find or determine the solution at x4, the next value of x, x4, after x3, x4, that is x3 plus h, that is equidistant values of x. <coughs> that is y4, finding y at x equal to x4, we apply the following two methods to find y4, namely Milne's method or Milne's predictor corrector method and Adam Bashworth method or Adam Bashworth predictor corrector method. So these two methods are nothing but the single uh, multi-step method, there are the uh, three methods which we discussed in the earlier classes. Taylor series method, modified Euler's method, and Runge Kutta method of fourth order, or in general Runge Kutta method, uh, are, the, are the single step methods. So let me consider uh, one by one. Uh, first, I will consider Milne's predator character method, and then Adam Bashworth predator character method. And these methods, we predict the value of y and then using the predictor formula and then correct it or refine the value of y obtained from prediction using the corrector formula. But let me consider <coughs> Milne's method, first multi step method. Milne's, Milne's predictor character method, or simply Milne's method, predictor character method. Milne's predictor character method. So, first we predict the value that is Milne's predictor formula. Milne's, Milne's predictor formula. Okay. Character method. Used to solve differential equation of the form. Consider, consider <coughs> dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y. With given initial condition y at x is equal to x naught y okay. <coughs> So Milnes, if the values are not given, the successive value, previous values, that can be obtained by a single step methods. A single step methods. Okay. <coughs> Milnes predictor formula. Milnes predictor 
Fala. And this is given by this is given by y4 p y4 p so p stands for prediction y4 p is equal to y naught plus 4 into h divided by 3 into 2 f1 2 into f1 minus f2 plus 2 into f2. Okay. So after predicting the value, we refine it or correct it using Milne's corrector formula. Milne's corrector formula. Corrector formula. And this is given by y4 c. So c stands for c stands for correction. Eh? Corrector formula y4 c is equal to y2 plus h by 3 h by 3 into f2 plus 4 into f3 plus f4 p plus f4 p where f4 p where f4 p is f of x4 comma y4 p. <coughs> where f4 p is f of x4 comma y4 p and f4 f2 f3 are all f1 is f of x1 comma y1 and f2 is f of x2 comma y2 f3 is f of x3 comma y3 now let me apply this Billes method to solve first order ordinary differential equation now let me consider problem and this Problem one. Given. Given. Dy by dx. Given. Dy by dx is equal to x minus y square. Given. Dy by dx is equal to x minus y square. With condition sequence of values. One at x is equal to 0 is 0 while at x is equal to point 0 0.02 0 while at x is equal to point 0.4 point 0.4 is 0 0.0795 0 0.0795 Y at 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.1762. So these are the sequence of values which requires to find the value at point A. Compute that value of x is point A. Compute y at x is equal to 0 0.8 by applying by applying millet millet predictor predictor character predictor character predictor character <coughs> okay. 
So here the question is find the value of y at x is equal to 0 0.2. So making use of the four values and of x, x naught at x1, x2 and x3. <coughs> Okay, so let first let us write down the given vector. So I showed you it is always good to write the given data so that you will know what exactly you have to do. <coughs> so given given f of x comma y f of x comma y is equal to x minus y square. Then x naught is 0, corresponding value of y, that is y naught is also 0. x naught is 0, y naught is also 0. Next value of x1, x is x1 is 0 0.2. So this is 0 0.2 and corresponding value of y1 is given to be 0 0.0. This is your y. Next y2 x2 is 0.4 the corresponding value of y2 is 0 0.0795 then x3 is the next value 0.6 corresponding value y3 is 0 0.1760 0.1762 then x4 is 0.8. This is the next value of x, 0.8. And we have to find out this value y4, that is the value of y at x is equal to 0.8 using Milne's predictor corrector method or simply Milne's method. So Milne's method means by default it is Milne's predictor and corrector method in your course. Okay. <coughs> now let me uh, what is h here? You take any the difference, x4 minus x3 is h, equidistant values of x, so h is 0 0.2. So h is 0 0.2. Let's me uh, read out the data here. So f of x comma y is equal to f of x1 is x minus y squared. x minus y squared. Then x naught is 0. Corresponding value y naught is also 0 in this case. x1 is 0.2. Corresponding value of y, that is y1, 0 0.0. 0 0.0. 0. Next, x2 is 0 0.4. Corresponding value of y, that is y2. 0 0.0795 then x3 is 0.6 the corresponding value y3 y3 is 0 0.1760 0 0.1762 then x4 is 0 0.8 and we have to calculate this value using Milne's predictor character method. So h is 5. <coughs> I have mentioned here h is 0 0.2. Take any difference. Anyway, x2 minus x1 0.2, x3 minus x2 0.2. So equidistant values of x. Okay, let, let us apply <coughs> the predictor character formula to compute y4. To compute y4. Milne's predictor formula. Milne's Milne's predictor formula. Milne's predictor formula. Okay. It is given by y four p. P stands for prediction predictor formula is equal to y naught y naught plus 4 into h 
divided by b0 into 2 into f1 minus f2 plus 2 into f3 2 into f3 ok so let me calculate these functional values at x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 <coughs> and substitute here to compute to predict the value of y at x is equal to 0.8 okay uh, so f1 is f of x1 comma y f1 is f of x1 comma y1 so this is equal to f1 what is x1 here 0 0.2 0 0.2 comma y1 0 0.0 after the definition of f of x comma y x minus y square that is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.02 square 0.2 minus 0 0.02 square and this is equal to 0.1996 so this is 0 0.1996 okay. <coughs> 0 0.199 that means f1 is 0 0.199 similarly f2 f of x2 comma y2 x2 comma y2 so this is uh, 0 0.4 comma 0 0.0795 so by definition this is 0.4 that is x minus y square 0.4 minus 0 0.0795 square 0 0.0795 square and this is equal to if you compute carefully using calculator you get 0 0.3936 0 0.3936 then f3, see f3 is f of x3 comma y3, x3 comma y3, this is equal to f of 0 0.6 comma 0 0.1762, so by the, apply the definition, you get 0.6 minus 0.1. 7624 so if you compute this carefully using the calculator you get 0 0.5689 0 0.5689 okay. now come substitute all these values so this is substitute in one substitute substitute in the values of f1, f2, f3 in 1. Substitute the values values of f1, f2 and f3 in 1, f3 in the builder's predictor formula to predict the value of y at x is equal to point. <coughs> so y4p y4p is equal to y4p is equal to y0 y0 is 0 plus 4 into h 4 into point 2 divided by 3 divided by 3 into 2 into f1 f1 is 0 0.1996 1 9 9 6, minus f2 f2 is 0.3936 plus 2 into uh, f2 2 into f3 2 into f3 f3 is 0.5678 0.56 yes So if you compute this carefully, 
carefully. You will get F4P is equal to 
iteration. Then let me call this as the first iteration. First iteration. First iteration. Like y for p is equal to this corrected value. 0.3046. So calculate f4p. Calculate f4p. So f4p is f4 x4 comma y4p. X4 comma y4p. So this is equal to f4 point y. F4p is this f4p. 5, 3, 0, 4, 6. So apply the definition point A minus point three zero four six square and it is sixty five. If you calculate, if you calculate, you get zero point seven zero seven point seven zero seven two point seven zero seven. Now, uh, substitute in 2 again, substitute in 2, so from 2, substitute in 2, so 2 implies R from 2, from 2, so let me write like this, that means what we are doing here, we are substituting this F4P here and calculating y2 4c <coughs> so from 2 y4 uh, y4 c from 2 y4 c is equal to everything said you see uh, 0 0.0795 plus 0 0.2 divided by 3 0.3936 39 Three six plus four into point five six eight nine eight nine plus yeah four p this value point seven zero seven two seven zero seven two so if you carefully calculate using calculator this will give you 0 0.3045 0.3045 So next, let us compare this value obtained in the first iteration with this value up to four decimal places if they coincide we shall stop the iteration process and conclude that value of y at x is equal to x4 is 0 0.3046 so there is a difference in the last digit, the last decimal place. So we have to again refine it. So that let me call this as second iteration. Second iteration. Let f4p is equal to you take this as f4p. 3045. 3045. So f4p is everything same. I will just change here only. Okay? But this is the procedure, okay? 0 0.3045. And if you apply the definition, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3045 whole square. So this F4P is 0 0.7072 again. 0 0.7072 again. So you get again 0 0.3045. 0 0.7072, the same thing will come here. So from Two again from two from two you get 0 0.3045. So our first iteration was also 0 0.3045. Second iteration is also 0 0.3045. Since uh, the first iterated value and second iterated value are the same up to the four decimals, we conclude that value of y at x is equal to point, uh, point 0.8, that is x4 is equal to point 0.8 is 0 0.3045. So, since, so we can conclude it. 
6. 6. The first and the sense. Uh, you can sense the first and the second iterated iterations iterations are the same iteration iterations are the same up to four decimal places decimal places y four is equal to y at x is equal to x4, that is point A, eh, is equal to uh, 0 0.304. So, so, the value of y at x is equal to point A by Millet Thompson with Millet's predator character method is 0 0.3044. 0 0.304. So let me consider another example. Example number two. Square plus y. <coughs> okay. 
the not had phase given here. So x naught, this is given x naught, x one, x two, and x three. So x naught is given to be one. Corresponding value of y naught is two. Then next value, x one is one point one. Corresponding value of y is two point two one five six. Then x two is one point two. X two is one point two. Corresponding value of y that is y two two point four six four nine. The next value of x x three one point three. Corresponding value of y that is y three two point seven five one four two point seven five one four. <coughs> okay. Then. I need to calculate x4 is 1.4, 1.4. I need to calculate y4 at x is equal to that is y at x is equal to 1.4 using Millais predictor and corrector method. Okay, so let me write the data, which is very much required. So given the form x comma y is equal to x square plus y divided by two, x naught is given to be one. Corresponding y naught is two. X one is one point one. Corresponding value of y y one two point. Two one five six x two is one point two corresponding value of y that is y two two point four six four nine four six four nine x three is one point three corresponding value of y two point seven five one four two point seven Five one four and x four. Next value of x is x four. X four is one point four. So this value we have to find. You see, Millais predictor character method. Okay, this is the data. Okay, let me apply. Write the formula to predict the value of y at x equal to one point four pass. Millais, Millais predictor formula, predictor formula. So this formula you have to remember. You have to remember. <coughs> this is given by y four p. P stands for predictor, predicting the value of y. Is equal to y naught plus four into h divided by three into two into f one minus f two plus two into f two plus two into f two. Okay. So when f one is the form x one comma y one is equal to is equal to f one. X one comma y one, one point one comma two point two one five six. So this is equal to by definition x square one point one square plus y by two y by two two point two one five six divided by two. So this is. Equal to if you carefully calculate, this is two point three one seven eight. Two point three one seven eight. Okay. Now similarly, f two is the form x two comma y two. So this is equal to the form x two. X two is one point two. X two is one point two comma y two. Two point four six 
four nine. So by definition, this is one point two square plus five by two two point four six four nine four six four nine divided by two. So if you compute carefully using your calculator, F two turns out to be two point six seven two four two point. Six seven two four two point six seven two four six seven two four. Okay. Now I need one more quantity. That is f of three. F three. F three is f of x three comma y three. So this is equal to f of one point three. What is your h here? H is Uh, 0.1 h is 0.1. Okay, h is 0.1.3. Okay, y3 2.7514, 2.7514. And using the definition, so this is 1.3 square plus 2.751. Four divided by two. So if you calculate using calculator, you get F three is equal to three point zero six five seven. Three point zero six five seven. Okay. Let me substitute all these values of Fs in one. Substitute. Substitute the values. The functional values. The values of f1, f2, and f3 in what? So y4p, y4p is equal to y0. Y0 is two, two plus four into h. H is point one. Divided by three into two times f one. So two into f one. F one is two point three one seven eight three one seven eight minus f two minus f two is two point six seven two four two point six seven two four plus two into f three. F three is three point zero six five seven two into Three point zero six five seven. So if you compute carefully, your four p will be. If you compute carefully, your four p will be equal to three point zero seven nine two. Three point zero seven nine two. This is what predicted value. Now let us refine this value by <coughs> using Milne's character formula. Milne's character formula. Milne's character formula. Milne's character formula. So let me call this as. Uh, so this starts from y four c. Y four c is equal to y two h by t. There is no four here. H by three into F two into F two plus four F three plus four F three plus F four P F four P. We call this as equation number where. Okay, f four p is the form x four comma y four p. So I know what is f two uh, and f three. Only thing y four p I have to calculate. So I uh, just list what is f two. F two is two point six seven two four. Then f three. F three is three point zero six. Five seven 
one seven. Now I have to calculate f four. I know the definition of f four p. F four p is f four x four comma y four. Y four p is this three point zero seven nine two. So this is f of x four. X four is one point four. Y four p is three point zero seven nine. Okay. After the definition, after the definition, so this is x square one point four square plus three point zero seven nine two divided by two. And if you carefully compute this, calculate this value for f four c will be. 3.4996. 3.4996. Let us use in two to obtain y four c. So from two, from the equation two, y four c is equal to y two. Y two is two point. Four six four nine four nine plus h by three h is point one point one divided by three into r f two f two is two point six seven two four six seven two four plus four into f three plus four into f three is Three point zero six five seven. Three point zero six five seven plus y four. Y four p is three point four nine nine six. Three point four nine nine six. Okay, three point four nine nine six. If you calculate using your calculator, a student calculator, so you will get y four c is equal to three point three point zero seven nine three. Three point zero seven nine three. Okay. Let us refine this first iteration. First iteration. First iteration. First iteration. So here, let us assume that. Y four p is equal to three point zero seven nine. Now we compute y four p. Compute y four p. Therefore, y four p is equal to y four x four k y four p y four p. So if we substitute the value, x four is one point four. Y four p is this three point zero seven nine three three point zero seven nine three. So if you see the definition, uh, this is one point four four square plus y by two three point zero seven nine three divided by two. So if you compute, calculate this part. Y four p will be. Three point four nine nine six. Three point four nine nine six. So from two, from two, substitute the value of y four p from two here. So everything same is here. Here y four p is three point four nine nine six. Here also y four p is three point four one four nine nine six. You can easily make out. So therefore. From two, 
you get the same value 3.09 uh, 3.0973 okay so from 2 <coughs> from okay i will write here So from 2, from the equation 2, y4c, y4c is equal to y2, y2 is 2.4649, 4649 plus h by 3, 0 0.1 by 3 into f2, f2 is 2.6724. 6724 plus 4 into F3 3.0657 3.0657 plus F4P F4P is 3.4996 4996 Okay, so if you compute these two are same exactly same here 2.4649.1 by 3, 2.6724 plus 4 into 3.0657 plus 3.4996. So if you compute, you will get back, uh, you get the value 3.0793. The sense, you have 4C. F4C <coughs> and the first iterated value are the same up to four decimal places. We can conclude that the value of y at x is equal to 1.4 is 3.0793. So you can conclude like this. You can conclude like this. Since first iterated value, since first iterated value, that is this value, and y4c, that is this value, y4c are the same, are the same. Up to four decimal places, places y four. That is y at x is equal to x four. That is y at x is equal to one point four is equal to three point zero seven nine. So I got the value 3.0793. Okay. Okay, so this is the this is how we <coughs> go through to solve the first given first order ordinary differential equation with a sequence of values of previous values, sequence of values of y for the previous values of x uh, <coughs> by the method of Binet's predictor character method. So in my next class, I will come up with few more examples on Binet's predictor character method and then I will discuss Adam Bashmore predictor character method. Okay. Thank you.